Hey everyone, my name is Audrey and welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you my January wrap up.
we are not going to talk about how late I am to filming these videos. It's mid-February, but it's fine. <laughs> we're, we're just going to talk about um, the books I've read in January. This one shouldn't be too long because I didn't read that many books. So in January, I gave myself a goal to read six books, which is higher than the actual amount of books that I normally read in a month. Um, and I managed to read three books and then I set myself a yearly goal to read 60 pages per day. And I managed to read an average of 56.26 pages per day. So not quite there, but not too bad. I'm really happy with that. It's not too bad. Not starting the year too strong, but not too bad either. So it's fine. So as you know, I always participate in the Buzzwordathon hosted by Books and Lala, which is to read a book with the buzzword in the title of the of that book um, for that month. And it's usually set from the first to the seventh of each month with a different buzzword every month. I prefer doing it throughout the whole month. And it happens a lot that I don't have time to read them all during that month. So I usually try to read them in the months following. But uh, for January, the first buzzword for 2023 was death or life. So any book with the word death or life or any related word. For that book, I picked up The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This was a reread for me. I've read this one, I don't remember last time I did, but it was at least a year ago. And I love this book. It was one of my all-time favorites, and it still is. It's still a five stars. The best way I could describe this book is a Groundhog Day meet Knives Out meet Black Mirror. So you follow this character who is who wakes up in a body where he doesn't remember anything and they are in this mansion and <laughs> surrounded by forest and as he go he is being told that he has eight days because he has eight hosts in order to solve a murder and every time he wakes up he will wake up in another body. So lots of clues, lots of time stuff involved um, because the day keeps repeating itself and it was so good. I don't know how the author actually <laughs> managed to keep everything straight and it would have been very easy to have a lot of plot holes in a story like this and the way that it's built and all of that in things just make sense the further you get into it and when you think you discovered something and you think you guessed something, you're probably wrong and something else will come up and it's just that good. And I didn't feel like any, like there was any plot holes. I felt like everything made sense. Every piece just got together and fit together very, very well. Amazing book. I strongly recommend it. I'm sorry if the angle changed. I had to stop filming because I ran out of space on my phone. So I needed to delete some uh, videos that I've already put in my storage and um, all that great fun stuff that I hate when I'm filming with my phone. But we're back. As I was saying, uh, one of the books that I did manage to finish Amongst the many books I was currently reading was The Mockingjay by Susan Collins, which is the third and final book of the Hunger Games trilogy, if you don't count the, the prequel. This again is another reread. It's the first trilogy that actually got me back into reading as an adult. It really has a special place in my heart. I just love these books so much. They read very, very fast. I'm very fond of the characters and it, I don't know why it does something to me. Um, I don't know if I would enjoy them as much if I just picked them up like now compared to 10 years ago. Um, 
I don't know how much nostalgia has to do with my appreciation of these books, but honestly, I love them so much that I, I, it doesn't really bother me. I really love them. Five stars. Uh, I was rereading them for the first time, actually, because I wanted to read the prequel. Um, so that should be coming up very soon. And the last book I was reading that I managed to finish is The Burning God by R.F. Kuang. This is the last book of the Poppy War trilogy. And um, yeah, this book was intense, to say the least. I loved it so much. Um, it was hard to read. It was tough. It was a roller coaster of emotions. Whew, I've been reading it for a while and I actually managed to cry uh, while reading this, uh, especially towards the end. It did make me cry. And if you know me, you know that I don't cry easily at all with books, with movies all the time. But with books, it's very hard to make me cry. And uh, I did cry. I didn't ugly cry but tears were falling down silently on my cheeks. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a tough one to process. I think, I think the ending was a good one. It was the, the ending that this story needed. I'm still sad though, but I do think it was the right one to go with. Um, but yeah, if you haven't read the Poppy War trilogy, I strongly recommend five star, easy five stars. Um, so good. I was actually really surprised to where we went and how the great characters grew within this. Uh, it was amazing. So yeah. And that's it. That's all I finished reading for January. Let me know if you've read any of these books. How did you enjoy them? I hope that your own first month of 2023 uh, went well reading wise and personal wise. Like, comment and subscribe if you wish. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload a new video and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye. <music>